Hey, what's happening gamers? My name is Joel and you're watching The App Shack and I'm coming at you with yet another free review today. Now, it's my first review in a while. I'm so, I apologize guys, I've been moving. I'm actually finally into my new house now and settled in and I can finally start putting videos out again. All right guys, so today the name of this application is City of War. Now, this is one of those applications that I kind of find just um, kind of sails under the radar. You know, not, not a whole lot of people know about it. Um, as far as I can see, it doesn't have a whole lot of reviews at the moment. So I'm gonna go ahead and do one because I'm actually Actually playing it at the moment and I'm really enjoying it. Now for those of you who like um, city builder kind of games, you're really going to enjoy this game. Now before you get on your high horse and start, you know, throwing names like Ebony and, and stuff like that at me, just hold on a second because there's nothing like those games. Well, it has similar elements, but it is not, it's not one of those games that um, end up like uh, you know, how you, how you get stuck in those games, you know, unless you're willing to pay money or live on games like Ebony and, you know, um, Mafia, Five Families, that kind of thing, and then you don't really get anywhere. Whereas this game, you don't have to do that. So let's go ahead and get into it right now. It's only, it's uh, published by Playdom Inc., guys. Um, I don't know if you've ever heard of them before, uh, but it's only going to set you back about 21 megabytes. It is available on both iPhone and iPad, and you don't actually need Wi-Fi to play it. However, it runs a lot smoother if you do uh, connect to a Wi-Fi signal, that's what I find. Uh, but I, I, you know, my phone's uh, uh, just internet carrier uh, works quite fine with it. It's a little bit slower, but you know, it's all good. It still works, which is kind of good because I can still play it while I'm out as well. All right, guys, so let's get into it. Um, basically, this is this is the rundown of it right here. Okay, so right here, these little uh, tents will produce uh, your population, basically. So I'm going to go ahead and collect these right here. And uh, you can see 10 personnel is popping up for each one of those ones that I've collected right there. And they go into my city's population right there. So I now have 70, uh, 84 people in my population. Uh, let's collect these ones as well. These ones are just give me a, a bit more. Now those are going to produce 10 people every five minutes, all right? These ones over here, oh, let's get out of there. These ones over here are gonna produce 30 people every hour. All right guys, so I can keep coming back uh, every five minutes if I really was that keen and get 10 people every time from these little huts right here, which I did build. Uh, now, right here are my supply dumps. And so basically, guys, two things you're going to be farming in this game are not, not the, you know, like the uh, metal and food and stone and gold like usual in those these types of city builder games, but the only things you're going to be farming is population and money. All right, so these supply dumps right here are where you're actually going to get your money from. All right, you can see those little three Zs right there. That means it's not active right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. Uh, I just collected money from that. So I can choose any one of these. Uh, it is a time-based game, guys. So you're gonna be waiting, um, you know, de depending amounts of time uh, on what you choose. So I'm gonna choose uh, just, a, just a quick little two-minute one right here, just for a, a bit of an example. So I just spent 50 bucks and I'm gonna get, uh, oh, I can't really see it at the moment, but in two minutes, I'll be able to harvest that, okay? So I'm gonna harvest this one as well. Uh, I just got uh, $1,260 there. And we're gonna go for, uh, all right, let's see. I'm gonna put on a two hour one. I'm gonna spend 600, I'm gonna get 1800 back. Okay, so I'm still making a profit there. Now I'm gonna zoom out and show you my, my town. Guys, this is this is a, a level seven town, I'm a level seven right now. So you're gonna start off with probably, uh, I think you start off with like three or four buildings and then you will build all of this up. Okay, so basically all of this from right here, these are all my military units. When I zoom in there, you can actually see uh, that there is a whole bunch of military guys ready to harvest. Okay, so what I've done is I've gotten population. Uh, hold on, let, let me harvest these guys first to show you how that goes. Basically, I'm just clicking on them and uh, you can see those little things popping up everywhere and it's showing me that, you know, 10 battle elephants, battering ram, um, yeah, war elephants, sorry. Okay, so basically guys, I've harvested my population. I now have 204 population. Now I'm gonna click on these guys right here or tap. And um, so battering ram, uh, it costs $70 and 20 persons, all right? So I'm gonna start that. That's gonna take 16 minutes to build uh, those battering rams and it cost me those 20, 20 person or people or what, population, whatever you want to call them, and uh, 70 bucks. So basically guys, you're harvesting your population to make you, uh, battle units and you're harvesting money to also produce battle units. It's all about the battle units. It's a very PvP based game because once you've uh, made all these guys, let's just make a bunch of guys right here. I don't actually have enough population to make all of them. 
um, because I've been making a lot of battle units just recently. Okay, so that'll do me right there. Um, in you know, sort of five, ten minutes or whatever, I'll come back and I'll harvest them. Um, now I want to show you this. This is the this is the battle map. All right, so the world map right here. These are all other players, and I can click on any one of these guys and see. Um, th this is this is really good. This is quite unique. I like this. He has conquered twelve people. He has had twenty-four battles. He has been conquered once, and he's lost three battles. So this guy's got really good battle statistics. I'm actually going to leave him alone right now. I want to find someone with a bit lost statistics. Okay, this guy here, he's he's not so bad. All right, so I'm going to go into the battle board right now, uh, and I'm going to select the maximum amount of units of all my guys. I've got maximum uh, of 200 for the first three types of units I've got. And then these guys here, um, I only have 92 and 46 there. So I'm just gonna select them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit attack. So hopefully uh, we're gonna win right here. And B, booyah, that's right. We've we've won that one, uh, victorious. So, and here's, here's the, the stats basically. So of 200 guys, I lost 54. Of 134, he lost. 134 and and uh, he didn't actually have any other units so I really did kick this poor guy I'm gonna continue but this is where it gets quite unique guys after I've defeated him you don't just take 5 XP and 250 bucks home I can then invade his city if I want to now this is where it gets really cool because I can then choose any building in his city that I want to uh, basically attack so I'm gonna move my little cursor around here. I'm gonna try it. See how it says 100 bucks right there? I'm gonna try and find something that's a bit more than 100 bucks uh, so I get more money out of it. Now I know there's a, there's a building around here somewhere. There it is. For some reason, the outhouse guys is a really good area to attack. You get 500 bucks for it. So I'm gonna hit that and I'm gonna go for it. Now I have absolutely smashed his city's defenses. You can see there's a health bar at the top there. I don't know if you really saw that, but if you manage guys to break through the city's defenses, you invade the city and then the city becomes uh, sort of like under your rule. Um, now basically what that means is that every 24 hours you can come in here. These these are all the people I've invaded and actually who I've whose cities I've beaten basically. Um, now this guy is the guy that I just took out just then. Now every 24 hours you can come in here and you can collect taxes from them, which is really cool. That's the benefit of actually conquering people instead of just attacking them. Um, and yeah, so you want you want to conquer people as much as you can, have as many people as, as possible. Because I can come in here, but I can get, actually get quite a few thousand dollars um, from these guys. And as you as I explained before, you need money to enlist more troops to attack more people. So that's yeah, that's kind of the circle of life in this game. Is these guys are all ready to uh, grab again. Now, the other part that you've got to worry about, guys, is your city's defenses, okay? It's not enough just to have a massive army because the city's defenses is what is obviously going to uh, contribute towards when people attack you. So a, a huge army is great for attacking people, but you want a good defense uh, for when people are going to attack you. So these things right here, stuff like this, wooden spike pit, uh, is going to add uh, to your uh, city's defense. So. Uh, make sure guys you don't fall into the trap like I did. I just built a massive army and I went around conquering people all over the place and thinking I was a boss. Uh, and then they sort of caught on to the fact that I was attacking them and they all attacked me. I had next to no defenses built and so I got attacked a lot. And then uh, once I realized that, I built a whole bunch of defenses. I still can build a lot more. I'm actually saving up for uh, for some defenses right now. I've got 10 grand up my sleeve. And uh, once I've got a little bit more, I'm just gonna build some huge defenses all the way around here uh, and just hopefully, yeah, <laughs> add to my, my defenses because they're pretty poor at the moment. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for this game. Um, definitely, if you like city building type games uh, and, you know, sort of time-based management games, you're definitely going to like this one. I, I, I recommend you checking it out. It's free. Why wouldn't you? Anyways, guys, if you have any questions about the app, do let me know. And if you have any suggestions for apps that you'd like me to review in the future, please do leave a comment in the section below or PM me on my YouTube account. Thanks a lot, guys. I'll catch you later. Bye.